Okay, now let's try to solve this one. So here it said that there's a block, it weighs 2500 Newton, is resting on a perfectly horizontal surface. Okay, there's a horizontal surface and a block is resting on it. And uh, there is a applied force of 1000 Newton which is having an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal. So now we need to consider this particular block. The Poisson's uh, not Poisson's ratio, the mu value is given which is coefficient of friction as 0.2 between the block and the surface. So we are going to consider this particular block. So what is happening in this block? So if you are trying to plot the free body diagram of this block, okay, if I am plotting the free body diagram, what I am going to get is, there is a block and there is a force 2500 acting downward and there is another force 1000 Newton acting at an angle 30 degree there will be a normal reaction between the surfaces in contact that is the block and the ground and as the block is tending to move to the right because of this force the frictional force will be in the opposite direction and which will be equal to mu n that is 0.2 times whatever the n s so it is given that this angle is 30 degree. So I'm going to try to apply the work energy principle here. So we have the work energy principle that is F times D is equal to change in kinetic energy. So initially it is said that the block is at rest which means that the u value is 0 because it is at rest and I want to calculate the v value after the block is moving a distance of okay after moving the, the block is moving a distance of uh, it is given in the problem as the block moves by a distance 30 meter okay so D is given as 30 meter. So the force is in this direction. The positive I am considering. Now let's apply the equation. So what will be the force here? To get the force, I need to have a direction. So this is the direction what I am considering. So in this direction, the force what I am having is a component of this that is 1000 cos 30 and mu n. So this n is an unknown. So first I need to calculate the n value. To calculate n, I can consider the equilibrium condition in the vertical direction. Okay. In the vertical direction, the block is not moving in the vertical direction. Hence I can say that sigma fi equal to 0 because acceleration in the vertical direction is zero we know that from d'alembert's principle sigma fi equal to m a i a i is zero hence sigma fi equal to zero so considering this direction i'm considering say upward as positive so what i'll be getting is minus 2500 acting downward 1000 sin 30 acting upward n acting upward equal to 0 and on solving this I will be getting the value of n as 2500 minus 1000 sine 30 which is equal to two thousand. okay so that's the value of n so what about mu n? Mu n is equal to 0 0.2 times 2000 and that's going to be 400 
newton that's my frictional force mu n now i'm going to apply the work energy principle okay so let's see this is the direction what i'm considering so the forces in this direction of movement is one force is mu n to the left right is the positive that i assumed so minus mu n okay to the left then what are the forces to the right there is this thousand cos component it is to the right so plus thousand cos 30 that's the force which is in the horizontal direction or in the direction of the displacement and the displacement we got it as 30 okay it is given in the problem now i need to think about the right hand side so in right hand side i'm having half into mass mass is given as weight is given as 2500 so mass is going to be 2500 divided by g or 9.81 now i need to think about the velocity the final velocity is a parameter which is unknown and the initial velocity is zero because it is said that the problem the objects it at rest okay so now I have this condition the mu n value is available here I can substitute that and I can solve it and I will be getting the value of V as 10.47 meter per second okay directly on solving that particular equation I'm going to get the value of velocity 10.47 meter per second after the block has moved a distance of 30 meter that's the first part Okay, solution of the first part. The second part says that after moving 30 meter, the force is removed, which means that this thousand Newton doesn't exist after 30 meter. So I'm trying to draw the block, the condition of block after 30 meter. So after 30 meter, the block is resting, not resting, it's moving and uh, there is the weight of the block it still remains the same and there is no thousand newton force acting on the system so as the block is moving it is moving to the right i'll be having my frictional force acting towards the left that is mu n and here i will be valuing of having the value of n which may be different it may not be the same as the previous case because in the previous case there was a thousand newton also contributing to the n value now there is no thousand newton so the value will be different so here again i can use the dlm burst principle what we used in the vertical direction there is zero acceleration so sigma fi equal to zero and considering say this as the positive direction for dlm burst equation so i'll be getting n2 equal to 2500 newton so after 30 meter when the 1000 newton is not there the normal reaction value has got increased to 2500 earlier it was 2000 now it is 2500 again i can use the work energy principle so what will be the condition and now what is the parameter that we want to calculate we want to calculate the distance traveled by the block after removal of 1000 newton so this is the condition that we need to check so when the block is at this particular condition the velocity we have already got the velocity it won't be v because we are considering this as the initial condition so it is 10.47 meter per second now i'm going to apply the work energy principle that is force times distance equal to half m into v square minus u square so u is 10.47 what about v v will be zero because i want to know the distance traveled by the object from this condition until it gets into the condition of rest that is at this particular condition the v is 10.47 and at the final condition it comes to rest which means v becomes zero so i'm substituting it so the force available so i need to check the total force in the direction of movement the direction of movement is this and i'm considering this as positive so the net force there is only one force and it is acting to the left hence it is negative so mu value is 0.2 so 0.2 times n2 n2 we already got it as 2500 
equal to half into the mass remain same that is 2500 by 9.81 and v square is 0 square and minus 10.47 square uh, I forgot to multiply the distance here which is basically our unknown so we need to have that distance here also and d is the unknown so I can get the value of d by solving this equation and I'm going to get it as 27.9 meter on solving this particular equation so this is another application the problem involved with the application of work energy principle so here we are we need to be careful because there they have mentioned about two condition a condition in which thousand Newton was there and there is a condition in which the thousand Newton was not there so you need to consider both cases separately need to have the free body diagrams and then you need to solve it.